All right, day two of Corfu, our first full day in Corfu, um, was a kind of taking care of business sort of day. Uh, first uh, order of business was Megan um, had tonsillitis <laughs> when uh, we left, um, and when, like, overnight it just kind of bloomed. Um, so we ended up having to take her to a doctor's office in town, and we spent a little while trying to find one that spoke English, um, and got her, like, checked out and medication and all of that. That was fine, um, in the end. I also woke up that morning with a heat rash because, uh, and I didn't, hadn't put this together at the time, but I was, uh, finishing up a course of antibiotics because I had a really persistent cough, um, and I didn't realize that antibiotics plus heat equals heat rash. So I woke up with just, like, red spots all over my torso, and it, it didn't hurt, it didn't itch or anything, it wasn't, like, painful, but it w was unsightly. Um, and, like, when we were at the doctor's for Megan, he, like, took one look at me and he was like, tourist. Uh, so he gave me a script for something as well. Um, poor Megan though, she had like fever dreams all that night. Um, it's kind of funny to hear them afterwards. Apparently there was an elephant, uh, that visited the apartment and she gave him a tour. Uh, and then the next order of business was kind of going out and flushing out our supplies for the apartment. We'd already gotten some food the day before, but we wanted like more. Um, cause the plan was we were going to be there for like 10 days. Obviously, we can't go out for every single meal. That's going to be super expensive. Uh, so the plan was to have breakfast at the apartment every day, sometimes lunch, sometimes dinner. So we just wanted to get some uh, uh, sundries for that. So we found, like, a grocery store kind of on, like, in a couple of the towns over from where we were staying in a bigger one. Um, and uh, I think the apartment itself didn't have a lot, so we kind of had to get, like, a bottle opener we had to get, um, uh, I think we had to get a knife because everything that was there was like really, uh, all of the knives were kind of like the Ikea, like steak knives, but not really great for chopping anything. Um, uh, I think all they had was like one of those mini fridges and then like, uh, a stovetop oven and, um, like plates and cups and silverware and stuff like that, so we had to kind of supplement, uh, which is fine. That's not a problem. Um, we went to the beach in the afternoon. There was, um, I can put a little clip of it in there. Uh, there was a clip, uh, a clip, there was a beach, uh, literally two minutes away from the apartment, um, I think which is one of the reasons that we chose this location, is, um, we were on kind of the, toward the top of a hill, and if you go down the hill a little bit of a serpentine road, literally two minutes, you're at a small little pebble beach, um, that's in a cove, uh, and you could, like, rent day beds and umbrellas and all of that, and so we went there quite a few times. Um, the... There was a notion at the time of uh, going to see the FIFA France match. France was playing, I don't remember who they were playing, um, but it was kind of, it wasn't the final for that uh, for the World Cup. It was, I think, quarter finals, maybe even before the quarter finals. So it wasn't an urgent match to watch. So we in, in the end decided to just stay on the beach and not try to run around finding the, the games. In the end, it wasn't hard to find matches and we did end up watching a few more over the next few days. Um, basically all of the bars were showing them because in tourist season and tourists want to watch it, of course they do. Um, that night we uh, went to a restaurant called Vitamins, or as everybody else said, Vitamins, um, that Megan actually knew about because she'd been to Corfu a couple times before with her family, uh, and it was only a couple towns north of where we were staying, so like 15 minutes walking or something, so we didn't drive, um, but we got the, we, we just like got our phones out um, so we could have like flashlights going. Cause the road on this part of the the island was not lit 
at all. The only times there were like overhead lights was when you were at an intersection uh, between a, like a the highway and like a crossroad. So uh, it was a little bit nerve wracking to be walking on a road at night with no lights. So we all had our phone flashlights out and we're like, one of them was holding it ahead of us. One of them was like holding it backwards. So there was a light like to our rear, uh, like the caboose basically. Um, but really, really lovely, f like place food. It was, um, kind of high up on the hill. So you had like this overlook of the bay and everything. And the food was really good. We had like, t we had, we went there, we ended up going there like three separate times. Um, and I, don't remember what we got exactly that night because every time we went there we got something different usually but there was usually somebody that got moussaka we usually shared a plate of tzatziki I think that time I remember Nisha got like the meat platter or something and she like when they brought it out uh she just looked at it like not possible it's it was so much food um which is kind of funny to see her reaction uh and as it turns out, um, the people who run that restaurant, uh, remembered Megan from when she'd been there like years before with her family. Um, I think they're friends on Facebook or something. So they might've had like the visual connection there, here and there, but like they walked up and saw her and they were like, mm, and she was like, mm, and then they like reconnected and they asked like, Oh, how's your sister? How are your parents? And it was very funny to see like the recognition and we were all just sitting there like, that's impossible. It was very entertaining. Um, in any case, after dinner, we walked back to the apartment. I think we just chilled for a little bit and then went to sleep again. I think Megan was pretty wiped from the tonsillitis. Uh, the rest of us were wiped from just being out and about, basically.